Well, today means the first day of college for more than 25,000 Georgia Southern University students in Statesboro, Savannah and Hinesville. Bureau Chief Dale Kennedy joins us now live from the Statesboro campus and Dale, how'd the first day go? Mike, relatively smooth, especially when you're thinking about thousands of new students arriving on their respective campus and trying to figure it all out from where to go to class, where to study, even where to eat. Students pack the sidewalks on the first day of classes at Georgia Southern. For a quarter of the 26,000 students, it was the first day of their college career as they found their way around. Everything's on an app. It's going good. Um, you just go to the app and you click the link and it's right there. It's super easy. Everything's all on the home page. From bus routes to textbook shopping, it's a new life for plenty of students. All that combined with August in South Georgia can be a challenge. That's what I tried to do yesterday. I had to take a break. It's hot. I got you. So you got out yesterday and kind of did the legwork? Yeah. I was trying to like see where everything was. The only building I couldn't find was the Newton building. Okay. At the Invo desk, Junior Gabrielle Hinton offered directions and advice. Just relax because everything is going to be fine if you have questions. Someone is always there to help, but definitely it's not as, as it's not as intimidating as it seems. Plenty of groups around campus offered directions, cold water and snacks for the first day. On a side note, we did get young that young lady some directions to the Newton building. It is back that away. Now, coming up later on in the news at six, those enrollment numbers, Georgia Southern has a vested interest in seeing what those how those turn out for this fall. Working on a story right now, we'll have for you on the news at six about why those why those numbers matter so much. Live in Statesboro, Dow Kennedy, WTOC News. You guys